so it begins. Dark were the skies and chill was the wind as the land was covered in a veil of malice. Across the hill did ride the dread army of the night, cloaked in mist and fog, prepared to rain down death and destruction upon the land. And the people did crowd for a hero, a noble soul, to save them from their impending demise. Just as it seemed all was lost, in strode a mighty hero, clad in shivering metal from head to toe. Wielding a mighty broadsword, he did cleave his foes in two, smashing their ranks asunder with a righteous fury. And when the day was done, and the enemy strewn across the field in pieces, the people did turn to the warrior and said, we shall name this day in your honor. Speak unto us your wisdom. The warrior said one word that day. Epic. One man, one murloc, one giant angry badger. This is Blue Please. It begins now. Yes, indeed it does. This is Blue Please here on a WoW Radio with myself, Total Biscuit. Welcome to the show. Yes. Now, as some of you may or may not be aware, I'm lacking content this week. Why am I lacking content? Have I been lazy? No. Nope. Has my content team been lazy? Absolutely not. Why am I lacking content? I've literally run out of ideas. I've actually run out of things that I want to talk about at this point in time. I spent all of last week talking about the Anchorage War effort, which was pretty much the major thing brought into the patch, and a few other things about costumes and all that kind of stuff. But, to be honest, I thought to myself this week, while at work, because at work is a very good time to actually think of things to say, because when you're, you know, serving customers, blah, blah, here, you can have the Crazy Frog Racing game, you're a terminal retard for buying it, but you can have it anyway. It's like, hmm, what can I talk about on this week's show? Other than the stupidity of people who do that. Also the stupidity of people who bring back a Nintendo DS with a smashed LCD screen and a big dent in the top and then claim it came like that in the box. Yeah, whatever. And I honestly drew a blank. I really did. I can't think of anything. The war effort is progressing. uh, The patch is settling in. They fixed that awful, awful mess of a hotfix. Wow. I mean... What what are they playing out there, has to be said. That was an interesting experience. I log in and everyone is warping around. It reminded me a little bit of Planetside all those years ago. Oh, well, never mind. It's all sorted now. It all works. It's all good. Yeah, so I actually couldn't think of anything. I mean, this week I've been doing Montcore. I've been doing Blackwing Lair. I'm still trying to get my Anixia chain finished because it's a really annoying set of quests. And people just can't be asked to help me kill the big red dragon, which is fine. That's cool, but it will get done at some point. Also, the Hexar's cover needs to drop more often. Let me make that absolutely clear. If I'm going to spend five and a half hours in Zulgrub, I want the blinking cover. Yeah. No, we've got Jindo's bag of whammies, which is just not all that great, has to be said. Oh, well, never mind. So, our guild killed Razor Gore today. I was pleased with that. We haven't managed that one before. I unfortunately wasn't there to see it, but I imagine it was quite good. So we did get him down, and we got two uh, Storm Rage Bracers and the Black Book, which was sharded. Yeah, we sharded our first Blackwing Lair loot. Awesome. That's the way to go. So we go through and uh, have a look at the big red dragon known as Vale, and he kills us repeatedly. Interesting fight, though, has to be said, although it does tend to involve being burned alive a lot. Hmm. So that's as far as we've got in Blackwing Lair. There's not all that much to talk about there. Has to be said. So, what I thought to myself. I'm going to open up the floor. Open up the floor, and you lot can actually send me... Questions. Topics. Stuff to discuss. What do you want to hear? What do you want me to talk about? I'm going to start with what I was sent first which was uh, from Stinky Ricks, and he said this, TB, I'm not sure if you've covered this in your past shows, but I'm sure we've all experienced it. Guild drama. My guild has been going through a lot of this lately. I was wondering what your opinions are on it and if you could cover it during the show. Okay, let's start with that. It's got a a good 
topic to start on as any. Why not? Right, guild drama. Okay. As we all know, guilds are large groups of people. And large groups of people are... Rather vulnerable to breaking out into fits of bitching. Which is unfortunate, but it is just the way the human mind works. They can't get along with anyone for too long. It, it, I don't know, I think it's in the genes. If you get along with someone for too long, you have the urge to have an argument with them. It's a perfectly healthy thing to do, but guild drama is something that no doubt we have all experienced. I personally have experienced it. I, in fact, left my guild twice, actually, over guild drama. We won't go into that, but yeah, needless to say, it wasn't very pleasant. And it happens. A lot. Now, it can have an impact on various things. Not only does it impact morale, but it also impacts teamwork and instancing. I remember guild drama happening down in Molten Core with one of my previous guilds. We'd wipe on a boss and we'd spend half an hour blaming each other for it. Whereas we could have rezzed up, buffed up in five minutes and given it another try. Guild drama can be a bit of a kick in the ass. What can you do to prevent it? Uh, the simple answer is it's very, very difficult. What I've experienced recently in my new guild is that the best way to kill guild drama is to have a strong leader. And when I mean strong, I mean strong. I mean, he is the only one you listen to. Thou shalt listen to me or thou shalt be kicked out of the guild. Now, a benevolent dictatorship is not necessarily the best way to run a guild, but it's the most efficient. This guy says jump, you say how high, and the job gets done. Successful guilds are often run in this manner. You have one extremely strong-minded leader who people are willing to follow. Why will they follow him? Because he gets them epics. You know, that's the reason to do it. And your guild progresses as such. Now, once you start expanding on that, is where the problems start. Democracy. An interesting puzzle that really doesn't exist in this world. An elected dictatorship, an oligarchy perhaps. Not democracy. Democracy causes problems. Each and every person entitled to their own opinion. Each and every person's opinion equal. No more or no less valid than the last guy. How's that going to work? Now in the real world, where you your opinions are not necessarily effectual, you can say it. That's fine. You have the right to your opinion. I don't necessarily agree with what you say, but I'll defend to your death the right to say it, etc, etc. That's fine. In a guild, people usually get the mistaken idea that they have more sway than they really do. A lot of people want control, a power grab. They want to be able to influence the guild and twist it to their own designs, whether they be for good or evil. Guild drama will inevitably occur in this situation. Now, what you will generally find with guild drama is that it will be spurred on. There will be a catalyst somewhere. And generally speaking, the catalyst actually involves high-end content. You don't get a lot of guild drama when you do a five-man strat run. That's fine. When you do a 40-man Molten Core run, things start to get nasty. Now, this is amplified by the fact that Molten Core in itself is not an easy instance, especially not for people who have just started doing it. Wiping on trash, frequently I might add, getting big repair bills and not really getting anywhere, is, and can be, a breaking point for many guilds. It causes guild drama. I remember the first few times we went into Molten Core. We cut our way down to Lucifer wiped on Lucifer repeatedly, we came out with big repair bills and no epics. That caused guild drama. People questioned, why are we in there in the first place? I want to go and do this. Ah, screw you all. Meh, meh, meh. People leave the guild, all that kind of crap. As soon as Lucifer goes down and we see the epics, ooh, everyone wants to go into Molten Core now because we can get epics. Yes. But then, problems don't stop there. Oh no, oh no. Problems start again in the distribution of the epics. What system will we use? We started off just actually rolling for it. It's like, if you, ha if you don't have this epic, you can roll for it. If you do, you can't. So, people roll for epics and we get a guy with four epics and a whole bunch of guys with no epics because he just happens to be good on the dice roll. Drama starts there. This isn't fair. I've been in the instance just as much as he is and yet I've got no epics and he has four. 
Okay, let's put a system in. Oh, no, I don't want DKP. DKP is for hardcore gamers. It benefits people who play a lot more than me. Therefore, I don't want it. Or, you suck. You're casual. You're not providing and giving things to the guild. I want epics. Therefore, DKP is a good idea. No, let's create a new system. Or let's create halibut raid points. Oh, that doesn't actually work because it's based on complete and total bollocks. More drama. The irony was with that was that when we were actually using this halibut raid point system, which is effectively a system in which you raid, you get points, you spend points to get rolls on the dice. So say if you had a 1 to 20 roll, you could buy numbers using the points. Now, it sounds good until you start getting silly rolls like the Azure Song Mage Blade going to about 87. And the guy with two points wins over the guys with 22. Just because he happens to be luckier. Then it goes to hell. And again, guild drama is caused over there. Why did this guy roll? Oh, it's a point system, therefore you're allowed to roll. It's not so much that you're allowed to roll, it's should you be rolling. And guild drama can occur that way. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm noticing a pattern here. Guild drama is often caused by epics. It's caused by loot. Basic human greed. That's it. That really is often what it boils down to. Loot. Loot drama. People bitching over who gets the epic loot. That's what I'm going to say in guild drama, to be honest. It's not that all drama staves from epic loot. No, far from it. It doesn't. That's just not the case. Guild drama can occur for various reasons. Clashing egos. Often a very good way of doing it. You'll find that people, when brought together, find people that just they just don't get along with. They can't get along with. They don't like them. And that happens. That can cause guild drama, but usually it just causes personal drama between one or two people. That's fine. When the whole guild is split up and up in arms over something, then guild drama. What are they usually split over from? Loot. Loot, 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 loot. Where do you get your loot from? You get it from Molten Core. Nah. That simple, really. Loot causes hassle. Everything else just breaks down from there. DKP drama. Boss killing drama. Lack of success in instance drama. Where does it all stem from? Epics. I did most certainly say... Epics! There we go. Epics are the cause of drama. And it's not very pleasant. Oh, no. Right, for those who don't realise, this is an open show. We'll call it Open Please today. If you want to submit a topic for discussion, you can do so. Stinky Ricks submitted Guild Drama, which is what I've just talked about. So if you have something you want me to talk about, anything at all, then send it over. And now I will not be discussing gay Wookiee sex. As Andreas Farilo, so... Yeah, I'm not even going to say it. So yes, get it over my way. Now, I'm going to rule out one thing and one thing alone, and that is silly class balance. I've already got three topics saying, Ooh, who would win? Pally versus Shaman. How should I know? My bloody Shaman's level 25 and my Paladin's level 8. No. No class balance. No, none of that crap. And don't get me on the mages either, because you know how much I ramble. You're listening to Blue Please here on uh, Wow Radio. Night Rider. Why not? Enjoy. Enjoy. 